Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hard Vermont on a brisk fall day. If ever there was the epitome of an October day, this is it. Hazen Union Lady Cats opener today against the Missisquoi Falcons. Falcons come in with a record of one and one. If my memory serves me correctly, they have beaten Virgen uh, lost to Virgins and beat Richford. Lady Cats looking to get their first win of the season. They have lost on the road to Enosburg and Fairfax. So hoping a little home cooking does it for them. And speaking of home cooking, our sponsor today, Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. And M. Stewart and Associates, your local CPA. Good luck, girls. 472-6192 is the number to call for them. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080, or streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Leaf on camera today. And uh, we're ready for some Lady Cats soccer. A little breezy out here, but an overcast sky. The uh, foliage the foliage is shot. It's, it's officially stick season right now. But uh, still, I think this is one of the finest settings for soccer in, in all of Vermont that I've been to and all the games that I've seen. And we're off. And I'll tell you, Leaf, this is a little different for me this year. I realize you're not wearing a mic, but I'll talk to you anyway. First time in four years looking out here not seeing uh, Joey, Zoe, and Kai. Got to get used to a little bittersweet for me. <laughs> but they are here cheering on their lady cats. At least I've seen uh, Joey and Kai, and I'm sure Zoe will be here soon. Kick out. Missisco, a big squad. Lots of, uh, by big, I'm meaning in numbers. Um, although there are some very tall girls out there as well. But uh, big bench over there. And Hazen uh, got some subs, but you got to wonder. Stamina will be the key, I think. Throw in, Masiskoy. Looking to control. And I got to match up some names and numbers and everybody. Been too long since I've seen <laughs> some of these girls I've never seen. Macy Moeller, Macy the male girl, looking across. Turn around, carry up the middle. Macy, turn, pass over. Madison Bartlett getting up in there, and I believe that's going to be an offsides call. The Spitfire, Madison Bartlett, trying to get a pass ahead to Macy the male girl. Get a shot on goal here. Senior keeper for the Missisquoi Falcons today, Madison Conley, getting the start in goal. He's in defense, clearing back. That one squirts by. That's uh, the left foot. It's got to be lefty Jeffrey right there. Oh, and we just, we have our first Maverick sighting. I'll have to brush up on my Top Gun quotes. Ball up ahead, Jeffrey looking to control. I think that's Natalie. I don't see a 15 on my thing. They have Natalie listed number 23, but. Here's the ball here, shot on wide. That was uh, Alex Brule, a junior for Missisco. <laughs> Senior keeper Ali Gabari watches that one go wide of the post. Macy looks up ahead. Maverick, Murphy on the far side. Center field. Picked off by Ava Hubbard for Missisquoi. 
Ball controlled back out by the Hazen defense. Looking ahead. Sarah Collier giving chase over there. A midfield battle right now between the two teams. Averick. Chipped ahead. That was more of a chunk. The chip, the chunk. Destiny Pigeon here on the near side. Working against Tessa Luther, I believe. I'm hoping these names match up. I don't know. Amanda, help me with some of these. These names aren't matching up with my roster here. Number seven right in front of me. That's that's not Tessa Luther, is it? Right here with the glasses. That's who I thought it was. And Natalie's wearing 15, right? Yeah, in the middle. Okay. And that's Madison Bartlett. Number six is Macy. Number four, that's Alexis Christensen. I recognize her. Now 12 over on the far side. That must be Tessa then, right? Right there in the middle of the field? Okay, so Tessa and uh, Sarah basically flip, flipped numbers, I think. Okay. If I have any other questions, I will confer. Thank you. Cleared up with authority. Lily Castle. Throw in, Masiskoy. Drop down in the middle. Turn around, boot it up. Maddie Gagne. Or Ganya, if you want to go with that. I'm not sure which way it would be. All right, pass over. We do know number 12 now is Tessa Luther. A lot of action here in the center of the field. Crossover. Players collide. <laughs> Lily Castle drops it in. This is going back out. Alex Brule, center of the field. Macy gets a foot on that one. Or actually, that's Alexis, sorry. Takes us a couple games to match everybody up. Sarah Collier with a half a throw. Goes in, caught right in the chops. She's hurt a little bit, is Alexis. I don't blame her. That ball must be hard and cold today. Tessa gives chase. Madison Guyette with her. Ball squirts ahead. Defense there. Moeller gives chase. The Cisco player taking it deep into the corner. Back out, control. Madison right there with Emily Graham. Ball up ahead. Lefty Jeffrey gives chase. Destiny Pigeon there with her. Here's Alexis back, Sarah Collier. Turn. Maverick. Jets ahead. Pigeon gets it inside, past Sarah. Shot on goal, easy save for Ali Gabri. Gabri, high, booming punch. She's got the wind blowing in that direction too. Help her along a little bit here. 
Wind gusting a little bit here this afternoon. Shot on, save. 31-13, left to go here in the first half, no score. Masiskoi has gotten a couple of shots on here in the last minute or two after a battle at midfield for the better part of this half. Pigeon inside. Gabri comes out and makes the grab. Good thing she got that one. There was a Masiskoi player right there waiting to pounce if that ball would have bounced. Big punt. Tessa trying to track it down. Lily Castle. Castle's made of sand. Two games in a row now I've gotten the Hendricks reference in. <laughs> Ball controlled by Emily Graham. Center field. Working against Maverick. Gets it over on the far side. They're letting him play. Eva Hubbard working against Lily Castle. Ball up. <clears throat> Jeffrey trying to get on that one. Gabri out to get that one, boot that one. Out of my house, she says. Alexandra Bordeaux back in. Lefty Jeffrey, the big left foot. Back here in the middle of the field. Tessa, middle of the field. Over. She was looking for... I think that's Gabriella Stanchu. I think I remember her running like that last year. Do enough games, you can just look at, you know, the way they run, the way they hold themselves. You can almost kind of tell who it is. Got a whistle, and we have an offside there. Center field battle once again. Here on the near side, Emily Graham gets it by Christensen. Takes it up the near side, looking ahead for Pigeon. Beautiful pass. Jeffrey there gets in front of it, though. Pigeon, center, knocked out. Hubbard. Inside, Pigeon over here, just waiting. Center. And <clears throat> Allie makes the grab. Big time punt, wow. Some leg into that one. Alexis Christensen on the throw in. Is the wind really picking up here right now? Cameo by the Hazen Cross Country team here. And throw in, that was uh, Sarah Collier. Throw in now by Masiskoi. Collier. Trying to work against Pigeon, gets it back. Lily Castle here on the near side. Gets it up the middle, Moeller. Maverick. Kept back in, nice play, Lily Castle. Tra trap that one down. <laughs> Masiskoi. They're coming close, Leaf. Those passes inside, they've got players there. 
the defense just staying one step ahead for now, but you can almost see stuff sort of setting up here almost. Lily Castle on the sideline. Pigeon throw in. Gonna look ahead. Nice drop. Taken out. He's in defender right there. Beth Conway. All right, I've been waiting to use this one, re, re, <coughs> Leaf. As I like to say, Beth, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. Conway again working on her. Throw in, Pigeon. Graham, turn around. As it skid off the top of her head. Bordeaux, working against Christensen, back over to Graham. Middle of the field, nobody there on that one though. Taken back out, Stanchu. Over here to Moeller, looking ahead for Luther. The Cisco defense is stout back here. Not letting much get by him. Madison Guyette made a nice save. That one got by. I think Tessa would have at least been in the clear. Over on the far side, side of the net. This game was originally scheduled for yesterday, got postponed to today due to a lot of rain that came through. So we're dealing with some cold and some wind, but I'd rather be out here and just cold and wind than cold wind and rain. <laughs> you are? Yeah, I'm looking in the puddle. I can see a few, yeah. Cross, out of bounds. Hazen, goal kick. Off the end, I believe it's going to be a goal. No, corner. I was going to say corner kick. We kicked that one out. Lady Cats once again looking for their first victory of the season. Hazen Union Wildcat boys have been on fire. There's my first Van Halen reference. On fire. Going back to Van Halen 1. Eddie Van Halen. Taken from us far too soon. Shot wide. But the... Uh, Wildcat boys have erupted, eruption. Let's sneak in one more. 20 goals in their last two games. They've beaten their last two opponents 10 zip after beating their first one 6 1. Talk about a balanced attack. They are fun to watch. Looking forward to covering more of their home games. Shot on with the left foot, skid it out. Back in, that's wide. Twenty-two minutes left to go here in the first half. No score yet. Missisquoi definitely has gotten off some, uh, a lot more shots directly on goal than we have. Ball kept at midfield quite a bit, but it's been down in our end for far too long. You see it stick around down here this long. Generally, not very good things happen. Throw in. 
Drops in in the middle. Control. Looking for the shot. Back in. Cisco are really working up here. Shot on goal, and there is a goal for the Missiscoy Falcons, and I believe that was Alex Brule, number 20. Got that shot off, I think. Missiscoy jumps out to the 1-0 lead, courtesy of a goal by the junior. Alex Brule. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. My apologies if I'm not. Doing the best I can up here. 21-13 left to go here in the first half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16. Uh, no, Channel 1080. I got to reprogram my brain on that one. HCTV Channel 1080 on your cable dial www.hctv.us is where we are streaming live and archived. Sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day, and as I said the other day, their home fries are awesome. And also, M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192, your local CPA. I use them for my taxes. Quality work right there. Lance Hall with the call. Leaf on camera. Lady Cats looking to jump back into this one, but I'll tell you, Missiscoy, like I said, they've got a lot of players over there that they can trade in and out. And uh, they seem to really, once we got through that little bit of a midfield battle, we're really able to control things up in our end for a long, long time. Are you an Eddie Van Halen fan, Leaf? Yeah. Growing up. My claim to fame, the live video they shot live without a net down in New Haven. I was there the first night. They recorded that over two nights, and apparently the first night a lot of the footage didn't come out. And the, uh, much of the footage you see is from the second night. But if there's anything there from the first night, I was there. Yeah, fantastic show. A true wizard of guitar. Totally changed the way everybody you know looked and played it for sure. And the fact that he was always smiling. Yeah. You know, whenever you saw him, he, he was just look, you know, in total rapture of, of what he was doing. Love what you do. You never work a day in your life, you know. Let's hope our Lady Cat girls can get some great energy going here and jump back into this game and at least get this knotted back up. A little bit of a center field bad battle once again. Over there on the far side, Masisco presses up. Gabri clears that one out. We'll have a white throw in over there. <laughs> throw in white. Moeller goes up the side. Missisco defense, they've got one defender just the other side of the halfway line and everybody else is up in our end of the field. Shot in. We've seen Ali hit some really big punts. She's got the wind at her back right now. It's been gusting pretty good. There's a nice carry. Tessa. Nice show of sportsmanship by the Missisco player. That's Alexandra Bordeaux. Save by the senior goalie, Madison Conley. I think this is, might be the second time she's touched the ball this half. Christensen goes down. Turn around. Emily Graham up, looking up the side. Lily Castle. Gets a guy, Brianna Jarvis, right there with her. Here's the throw in. 
sub coming in for Masiskoy. Masiskoy, a Division II team, coming in with a record of 1-1. One and one. Lady Cats 0-2. Oh we are playing Division IV this year. I think we did last year. I can't remember, but I know we're playing Division IV this year. Graham throw. We might have played three last year, my memory. My memory isn't what it once was. Shot on goal, save Gabbery. Ava Hubbard with a nice shot. Right on goal, Gabbery there to make the save. Luther has that one bounce. Madison Guyat there. She's been an anchor back there for the Missisquoi defense. Hasn't let much get by her at all from that center field position. Beth, far side. Couldn't quite get the turn. Lily Castle takes it to the outside. Throw in White. Maverick streaks in. Trying to make anything happen here. And that was Madison Bartlett getting the foot on it. Moeller trying to get something going here. Missisquoi player there with her, though. This is Graham. Seen a lot of her this half. Lily Castle, ouch. That's got to hurt. Brianna Jarvis took one for the team right there. Ball once again over. Guyette right there to knock it back. Emily Graham looking up ahead. I believe that's Brianna Jarvis down here at this far end. Kept it in. Out now. We're going to have the corner kick. The most exciting play in all of soccer. Ava Hubbard, no. Uh, yes, Ava Hubbard, a sophomore for Missisco to take the, so the uh, corner kick. And you can see it a little more down here as opposed to being up on the roof leaf, how the, the cor this corner of the field kind of slopes down a little bit. Yeah. You're almost like kicking uphill. A little bit of a crown up there. Allie has that one go up over. And we're going to have a free kick. Emily Graham. I wish I could have heard her explain what happened. This is when we need Harry to tell us, but there was, must have been some sort of play there that a Missisco player made that caused the ball to go dead. And then we got the free kick, is the best I can tell you. Stanchu with Graham, Graham, center. Lily Castle puts the hip into it. Shades of Freddy the hip, Larson. The tragically hip. Who else back there in the center but Madison Guyette? To stymie yet another Hazen offensive try. Gabri going to come out and make the save. Alley. Ball goes over. Tessa moves it ahead. Moeller right there. She's got Stanchu open. Stanchu on the side. Moeller puts it in. Blocked out. Moeller trying to make get something happening here. Cleared out. I believe that was Graham back there clearing that one out. Throw in red. Gabrielle Stanchu, Gabriella Stanchu. 
13-13 left to go in the first half. Masisco out to a 1-0 lead, courtesy of a goal by Alex Brule. <laughs> Bailey Christensen with the throw in here. Out of bounds, white throw, Masiskoi threatening again. Middle of the field, Gabriella up ahead. Masiskoi looking for the shot on wide. Hazen, goal kick. Lady Cats play again tomorrow night. I cannot remember who their opponent is. And that was a hook. It is? I, I thought it was Oxbow, too. And then the Wildcat boys will be in action next Monday here at home. Graham, cross field. Offsides call. I think I heard the referee say what she did is she was offsides, came back and played the ball. It was the bit that I heard, I don't. That was the explanation I heard. <laughs> Near side. Stanchu, Madison Bartlett loses her footing. Ball right there in the middle, and we've got another offside. Referee right there on line. Looked close to me, but uh, he was right down there on the field looking right across, so I'm not going to question him. Bartlett, middle of the field. Moeller. Up ahead, Luther going to give chase over in the corner. And Conley says, what the heck? I'll grab it. Short punt. He's in looking to make something, capitalize on it. Moeller. Still working against Cassie Wilkin over there. Turnaround. White throw. Lily up. Shot on, save. Nice save by Ali Gavari. Hard shot on the ground, had to make the dive. Big time punt. Those punts are almost Dave Hunt-like. Dave Hunt was a goalie back when I was in school. 
who I swear to God could punt it from one end of the field to the other. Just an amazing goalie and a fantastic punter. Hazen with the free kick. Lily Castle up ahead, Bartlett. Does that one go off her foot? White throw. Pigeon. Didn't get the foot on that that she wanted. Turn around, Stanchu out of bounds. We're going to have a throw. Pigeon. Lily Castle and Alex Boulay going at it there in the middle of the field. Ava Hubbard shot, save Gabary. Big time. Handball. Let's see if Hazen can capitalize with 6.25 left to go here in the first half. Get on the board, tie this game up, start over again. Jeffrey. Turn around, Brule. Throw in whites. Head right in the middle of the field. Ooh, misplayed. Jeffrey right there to knock it away. Nice, Ava. Ava Hubbard crossing that one right in the middle. Beth Conway clears it out. Moeller looks up for Christensen ahead. One that for the first time I've seen one get by Madison Guyet. Christensen on the far side. This defense is tough. Maverick trying to get into the flight pattern here. Madison Bartlett, the Spitfire. She fears no one. Moeller back. Maverick, try to get in, taken down and out. Maddie Ganya. Ball back up midfield. That was about as good a sequence as we've had offensively down there so far. We didn't even get a shot off. Lily Castle. Bordeaux, the head, Christensen knocks it down. Nice pass across. Shot on. Took a funny hop. Managed to nail it down. 
This Masisco team, these girls are are physical. You know, in a clean way that from what I can see up here, just sort of out muscling our offense. Moeller was looking ahead for Christensen, knocked out. I'll give you one guess, it was Madison Guyette. Nice carry up through. Ball up. I'm going to get a shot. And wide. Whew. And I'll bet you that young lady would like that shot back because she had alley beat. Little less angle. Trying to get a number there. Molly Ganya. Two minutes left to go in the first. Lady Cats down one zip. I'll tell you though, for as, as physical as they are on their defense and keeping our offense at bay, our defense is playing just as well back here. Um, Missisco has pretty much dominated a lot of play up here in our end, but our defense has done a really, really good job of, of keeping them somewhat at bay. Allie's made some nice saves, but our defense has gotten in front of a lot of these shots too and cleared things out nicely. Bit of a defensive battle here today. Nice play, Macy Moeller. Looking ahead, Guyette. One minute left to go in the half. Moeller, see what she can do, nope. Bordeaux there to knock that one out. I would say at this point now, let's look for our defense just to hold them off for another 40 seconds and get out of this trailing one zip. Nice play, Jeffrey. Moeller. Drops it off. Graham. Pigeon right there. Spitfire. Madison Bartlett. Bailey Christensen has that one go off the side of her foot. That's going to go out of bounds. We've got seven seconds left in the half. And at the end of the first half, it is your Hayes and Union Lady Cats trailing one zip. Alex Brule, a junior for Missisquoi, giving the Falcons their 1-0 lead. A defensive battle so far. I mean, the Missisquoi defense has just been completely holding our offense at bay. We've, I don't know if we've gotten maybe one shot off. Um, Missisquoi, while they haven't exactly peppered us, they've been, gotten some quality shots on goal. They've, uh, you know, made Alley work back there a little bit, so... See what happens here in the second half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Leaf on camera. Our sponsors today, Call the Word Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure everything and anything you need insurance on. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And your local CPA, M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192. We'll be back at the start of the second half. And we're back. Second half action about to get underway here at Hudson Fields in Hazen Union High School, Hard Vermont. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Missisquoi Falcons today. Trailing one zip. Falcons got a goal by a junior. Let me get my roster back out here. Alex Brule scoring there in the first half. On a turnaround shot that got by Ali Gabary. Bit of a uh, defensive battle to start with. A lot of play at midfield, and then Missisquoi had control up in our end for a lot of that first half. The Missisquoi defense is fantastic. Our defense playing well 
to keep us at one zip in this game because they had, like I said, they had the ball up and earned a long time up there. See what happens here in the second half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192, your local CPA. Their message is good luck, girls. Leaf on camera. Not a bad day for soccer. It's a little brisk. We've had some wind. Uh, really got whistling there for a little bit. Allie had a lot of punts that traveled a long ways, but she had the wind at her back. Let's see what happens here in the second half. Wind has died off just a little right now, but it's been gusting and it's been swirling today. But still, as chilly as it is, and with the wind blowing much better than if this game had been played yesterday in that rain that we got along with the wind and the cold. So. Much better day for soccer today. Bartlett up ahead. Taken out by Cassie Wilkin. And that is Ava Hubbard and coming chase now is Wilkin again. Madison Bartlett playing against her, a white throw. Wilkin with the throw. And this has been a very clean but physical game. I mean, these girls have really played hard out here on both ends uh, and both teams. I think uh, Masisco has a little bit of advantage with both the size of their bench and their girls are a little bit taller, a little bit more uh, stature out there. And offside by a step was Alexis Christensen. The referee calling it tight today, but he's called it consistent. Saw several offsides on Masiskoy in that first half. Cross field, Stanchu. Here's Madison. Maddie Bartlett, nice move to get up by here. Mola was looking to get the foot on it, couldn't get it, beaten out by Wilkins. Wilkin, let me, no plural. Emily Graham goes across the field, taken out. Jeffrey. A little bit of ping pong, pinball action out here right now. We saw a lot of this in that first half. Francisco just controlled our end. As long as the girls don't get tired, we'll be in it down just one zip. Second half just underway. Home opener for your Hazen Union Lady Cats coming with a record of 0-2. On the road losses to Enosburg and Fairfax. Playing a, we are playing a Division Four schedule. Francisco, a Division II team, came with a record of one and one, courtesy of a uh, loss to Virgins and a win over Richford, I believe. Looked at their record last night. So that was a while ago. <laughs> nice move. Looking for the shot on wide. Nice move by Emily Graham, though, to get by Lily Castle. Seems like every time we get the ball near their end, there's like three of their defense right there. 
And the, the uh, players come up seeing the most action back for them on defense. It's number 12, Madison Guyette. He's a sophomore. So they got some serious uh, defense back there for a couple more years. That girl is lights out. I think we've seen one ball get by her. Well, I think that was on a hop. Throw in White, looking in the middle. Chipped out by Jeffrey. One more White throw. Matty Ganya working against Moeller. I think that's Maverick. That's half that head. No, it's Stanchu, I believe. Gabriella Stanchu. Over here on the near side, Tessa Luther. Working with Wilkin. Back to Graham. Graham into the middle. Taken down. Gone here over. Line up. Shot wide. Alex Brule. Looking to add to her. Tally today, she scored in the first half to give Missisco the 1-0 lead. Goal kick, Lily Castle just over the head of Ganya. Quick throw by Graham. Middle. Turn around Hubbard. Got that one across. Mackenzie Vincent over on the far side. A lot of team out here. Every time I look, there's a different number, a different name. Moeller can't get it by Wilkin. Beth has that one go under her foot. Ganya working against Beth Conway. Inside. Nice play by Lefty Jeffrey. Brule right there. Wanted to capitalize on that one. Molly Ganya made a nice pass over through there. Corner kick for Missiscoy. Wind picking up just a little bit. Once again, blowing in towards Alley. So this ball could take a funny curl if it catches the wind. Nice placement, shot in, cleared out by Lily Castle. There's Moeller looking ahead. She's onside this time. Christensen breaks ahead. Gets by Guyette. Guyette right there, though. I thought, I thought for a minute, but man, Emily Guyette. Madison Guyette, excuse me. Madison Guyette. On her horse, getting back there as Christensen had the breakaway. Guyette caught up with her, fat, closed on her really fast. Here's Brule, shot on wide. That was, yeah, that was Maverick. Okay. On the far side. Ball kept in. I think we're going to have a white throw. Okay. 
Maverick gets the head on that. Red throw, 30-30 left to go in the game. Once again, Lady Cats trailing one zip. A lot of defense in this game. A lot of defense. It's almost like watching a pitcher's duel, you know? Tessa. goes down. We're going to get the free kick. Moeller's going to look to move fast. Catch this defense playing up. Instead waits. Gets across. Maverick knocks that one down. I think that was Bailey Christensen over on the far side. And Natalie Mitchett. Hubbard up ahead. Beth over to the corner. This is going to give Chase. We're going to have a white throw. Shot on. We got a Masisco player right there. Oh! <laughs> Number 18, Nevea Bior, I'll go with. Had a wide open net. Hooked it. That's two goals that I've seen that uh, Masisco. Narrow missed goals is what I'm trying to say. Had Alley beat. Missiscoy player just couldn't quite get the angle, the shot, the foot that they want on it. Easily could be a three zip game right now. <laughs> Madison Conley, the Missiscoy goalie, getting a little lonesome back here at this end of the field. Graham, looking to keep that one in. Lily, nice move. Lily Castle, a sophomore. She's setting us up for some good defense for the next couple years. Lily's come along. I remember watching her last year as a freshman. Really come far in this past year. She's looking good out there. You can tell she's got that freshman tentativeness gone now, you know. A little more assertive. Chipped out, white throw, 27-12 left to go here. Shot on, wide. Bayor can't quite catch up with it. Castle, kick. Player wide open there. I think that's Boule. Shot on, save Ali Gabari as Boule had the nice shot right there. Moeller. Swing and a miss. Graham. Or Hubbard, I mean. Shot on, score. I didn't get, I don't, if you can get me a number, Leaf. Girl right here in the middle, we'll try and get it as she comes up through. I'm trying to keep my eye on her so I know. I was going to say she's got the blue sleeves, but they're all wearing blue sleeves. 
I want to give credit to the right one. Was it number 20 who's jogging off now? If it was number 20, it's Alex Brule again. It was hard to see. They were all kind of packed together. Yeah. Two zip, not going to say it's insurmountable, but we've got to get a lot more shots off than what we've gotten in this game so far to get back into this. 25-29 left to go in the game. Hubbard up ahead, Gabarit comes out, gets by. Jeffrey knocks it off the end. It'll give him the corner, but it saved the goal. A couple of Masisco players right there to pounce on that one. Scabri came out, tried to make the sliding save. Had the ball go by. Masiskoi, corner kick. Gabri comes out and grabs that one. Tessa Luther right here on the near side. Ouch. That hurts just looking at it. Moeller trying to make a move. A total shove down. We're going to get a call on that one. As Matty Ganya just uh, threw a forearm shiver at Macy Moeller, who was breaking ahead for the goal. Happened just outside the box, too. In the box, we would have had the PK. Just outside. Moeller, wide. That was a shot that took her down. <laughs> Goal kick. Masiskoi. Ahead, Luther. Luther, nice move. Try and get something going here. Maverick Murphy can't quite get on that one. Oxbow defense clears it out once again. Lily Castle with authority to the front, to the right, to the middle. Tessa Luther. Nice defense by Ella McGuire. Bayor gets it up ahead. Lily Castle playing tough in the middle of the field. Back, Beth, got to clear that one out. Over here to the side. Sarah Collier trying to turn that one back up. We have a throw in Ella McGuire. Sophomore for Masiskoi.
What's the score? Looking to extend their lead. Bartlett working here. Back, Woken. Woken. Hubbard turns that one over there on the far side. Ooh, collision. Clock is stopped. I don't really know what happened. 2032 left to go. Mask break? Well, and that said, then I'll read the sponsors uh, sponsoring your Hazen Union Lady Cats <laughs> home opener today is the Calderwood Insurance Agency, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike Gothier a call. He will insure everything and anything that you need insurance on, all for a great rate. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. Have you had breakfast at the Hardwick Village Restaurant, Lee? Oh, sure. It is excellent, excellent stuff. The home fries, the toast, the sausage, it's all good. And M. Stewart and Associates, your local CPA, 472-6192. I use them for all my financial stuff. They are fantastic people down there. Their message is good luck, girls. The girls currently trailing 2-0. One goal was definitely scored by Alex Brule, and she may have had the second one as well. It looked like it, the way she went off the field after that last goal, but we're hoping we've got it right. I hate to sh shortchange anyone if they did end up scoring. But uh, so our apologies if we don't have that right, but it, it's just what it looked like the way the play came out. We couldn't quite get the number. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Leaf on camera. Lady Cats. And I was looking at the clock earlier. I was trying to get the 2112 reference in because of course we also lost the professor. Neil Peart earlier this year. One of the most premier drummers in the history of rock. play once again by Madison Guy. You know, and the, and the term you hear a lot in soccer, Leaf, is first to the ball, first to the ball. And Masisco has been first to the ball consistently a lot in this game, both on defense and offense. And uh, it's helped them to keep really good control of this game. <laughs> again, though, our defense playing great as well and uh i'll point out again big time bench and a lot of subs over there for Cisco. and if you look at our bench the girls have been out here for quite a while fatigue save gabri Masisco a D2 school coming in with a record of one and one. Hayes an 0 and 2, couple of road losses. Open the home cooking. Can get something going here, and we gotta get something going quick here with about 18, 20 left in the game. Bartlett up ahead, right there. Once again, number 12. 
I've called her name all day on defense. And she's a sophomore. Well, we've got some pretty good sophomores back on our defense as well. Lily Castle, Beth Conway back there. And I'll go to it one more time. Beth, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. <laughs> And there she is, out of bounds. White throw, Emily Graham. Maverick Murphy got the foot on that one. Jeffrey, she'll get this up there. Looking over for Macy on the far side. Alexandra Bordeaux gives chase. Masiskoy thwarts another offensive charge. The Hazen Union Lady Cats. This Ava Hubbard, number 13, has been a force at center field as well for Missisco. Player goes down, gets just run a rough shot over there on the far side. Here's a long shot to Gabri save. I think that was Bailey Christensen, went down in a heap over there. Rare misplay by <coughs> Gayette. Maverick. She's lost that love and feeling. Gets by Christensen. Oxwell. I think that's Destiny Pigeon over on the far side. <laughs> I remember a day like this a couple years ago, Leaf. I got to bring this up again. I think I do it every year on a day like this. <laughs> Griff and I up on the roof, cold, windy like this. Liz shows up late in the second half with a thermos of hot chocolate. The best hot cocoa I've ever had in my life. Just perfect timing. Where's the snack bar? <laughs> exactly. And there's a... Uh, the senior goalie, Madison Conley from Asiscoy. Is that the first time she's touched the ball here in the second half? Maybe. No, I think she touched it one other time. One other time. First to the ball, Red. Conley, punt. Nice punt. Yeah. It's died down quite a bit from that first half. Yeah. More of a gentle breeze as opposed to the yeah. <laughs> whirling dervish that was uh, in that first half. There were a couple times. Kind of like a hurricane. 14 minutes left to go in the game. Or I think technically it's called a match, isn't it? Sure. We'll go with a match. 13.55 and counting left in the match. Corner kick for Masiskoy. <laughs> Thought I saw a shoulder get laid in there against one of our girls, but could have been anything. Jeffrey. Guyette has that one get by her. Macy on it. Guyette's got great closing speed, though. Man, Guyette is fast. That's, that's two girls we've seen now get out ahead that Guyette is just completely caught up with and managed to 
Get the shot away. She closes on a soccer ball the way Deion Sanders used to on a football. That's amazing. And it's not like Macy's slow either. Natalie, here's Macy once again. Going across the middle. Bartlett. The fearless one. Graham carrying for a long time up here. Sarah Collier has that one get by. Abby Bissett back there. to the middle. Shot on. Save. Nice shot. Nice save. Ava Hubbard with the shot. Ali Gabary with the save. Luther back to the middle field. Guyette there. Molly Ganya on the far side working against Christensen. Knocked down Jeffrey. Nice play. Back out by Christensen. But first to the ball. And they seem, the other thing is they seem to be in position for wherever the ball goes. Is the other thing I've noticed in this game. Case in point. Drop it in. Player right there. Well coached. Well disciplined. Turn around, shot wide. <laughs> Lily Castle, goal kick over to the side. Shot on, save. You can hear Coach Harry telling Tessa to go. Wilkin throw. Back to Graham. Pass over. Jeffrey intercepts that one. Lefty Jeffrey. Got yet. I have no idea, but that was an impressive sound. That was impressive. <laughs> Hazen with the kick. Bartlett right there to try and get that one, but saved by Madison Conley. <laughs> Oh 
Lily Castle going shoulder to shoulder with Molly Gonyas. Castle goes down. She's back up. Lily's double tough. But time running short here. 7.55. Your Lady Cats down two zip. Time to make something happen. And I'm almost thinking with as, as fundamentally sound and as stellar as this Missisquoi defense has been, it's, it's almost going to take something fluky to make it happen. They've just been really good. Bartlett gets the turn, looks up, wants to go over to Jeffrey. Jeffrey with the left foot up. And I'll tell you, as long as uh, Madison guy had us back here, <laughs> it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We've seen her misplay a couple, but for the most part, she has been stellar as the wind starts to pick up a little bit now. Almost below in Crossfield. A little bit of a wind shift here. Woken. She puts the left foot on it. Ball gets through. Best shot on, nice save. Point blank. Gabri right down there in position to get that one. Jeffrey up ahead. Guyet back. Plays it back to her own goalie. Condley up. Maverick couldn't get that one. Sarah Collier back, playing with Abby Bassett. Missiscoy, corner, kick with 5, 40, and ticking left in the match. Your Lady Cats trailing 2-0. Oh, I guess we're going to have a goal kick now. <laughs> nice passing. He's in defense, though, back there. Once again, I'll give our defense props as well. We played well. And that one gets up over. Gabri tries to make the save. Was that number 13, I think? I was looking. Oh, okay. Trying to get my roster back here. Ava Hubbard. I think if it was number 13. That's the number I thought I saw flash as she turned to shoot. I believe that's three. Scoreboard showing four. I think John might have messed up. It should be three zip. I'm sure he'll fix it. Destiny Pigeon. Three fifty left to go in the match. Hayes in the scoreboard showing four, but we're pretty sure it's three zip. And uh, looks like the Lady Cats will drop their record to zero and three. Once again, they play again here at home tomorrow against Oxbow today, Thursday, October eighth. Tomorrow the ninth. 
they'll play uh, at home. I believe their next home game will be next Friday against an opponent that I do not know. I'll have to just print out a schedule. Scrum right there in front. Emma Bedore trying to get it out there. Taken out, I believe that was Stanchu. No, it wasn't Stanchu. It was uh, Natalie Mitchett who cleared that out. Shot on, save, Gabri. Ellie. Way ahead, Guyette back. The fearless one, Madison Bartlett, Spitfire, Moeller, center. Looking over across. Emily Graham, Destiny, Pigeon. Carries it all the way across the field. Ball chipped up in. Gabbery, easy save. Gabbery, punt. Moeller gets the head on it. Moeller splits the defense. Bartlett there. Defense right there, though, to clear it out. Luther gives chase on the far side, keeps it in. Looks back up the sideline. Here's Bartlett. Lady Catch is looking to get on the board right now and avoid the shutout. Jeffrey, she could she could boot it from there. I know she could. Maverick. Here's Moeller. Jeffrey. Which one's towards goal? Conley. Scoop save. 35 seconds left. She's on side. Nice defensive effort over there on the far side. Bailey Christensen. This is quite player at broken free. That's going to about do things for this game, and that will drop the Lady Cats record to 0-3, courtesy of a 3-0 score against the Masiskoi Falcons. Once again, Lady Cats in action again tomorrow night against Oxbow. Our sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192, your local CPA. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Leaf on camera. Hope you enjoyed the game today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.